I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what you need, what you want. If that is not, if you want a good life and a good marriage and a good relationship, he has to love you more. I don't care. That's just how it has to be. If you're on a date and they're looking at another woman, look at cars. Because a man can be cute and broke and he knows you ain't going nowhere. But looking at cars is totally different. Oh my God, look, there's a Bentley. I wonder who's driving that. You know, that way he sees. You're not looking at looks, you're looking at money. I mean, yeah. Don't look at other men, look at cars. That'll get them. Girl, let them big hoop earrings go. Throw them in the trash or sell them or something, girl. Don't. You're not J-Lo and they're not coming back. They're not classy. Like, they're, they're like, uh, I have. I've worn them and I used to love hoop earrings in the 90s. They're so 90s. Um, but I can't, like, when you see people with hoop earrings, especially in America, I don't know if it's like this in other cultures and countries. It just, it, it screams ratchet. That's it. I lied and cheated in school and my jobs and that's how I got a hit. Exactly. You know how they, they, they try to trick you. They say, oh, cheaters never win. and Losers never prosper. I mean, and cheaters never prosper. And uh, don't lie. And karma. And just everyone who is anyone. It has something is a liar, a manipulator, a cheater, or whatever you want to call them. Okay. All the timid people who don't have much, they're the ones that are so honest and so humble and so this and so that. So that's why they are in the position that they're in because they can't make it in this real world. Okay. By telling the truth all the time. I'm not bringing nothing to the table, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you want a woman to bring something to the table, go to IHOP. Go to the restaurant where you can tip her, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because if I bring something to the table, you're going to be mad because it's going to be another man who's going to not ask me to bring something to the table. He's going to take care of the bill, them kids, and everybody else. And you, if you look broke. And this is why I'm telling you, girl, stop. He don't love you unless he marries you, okay? He don't love you, and you are single until you are married. That's all I'm going to say. He don't love you, and you are single, until you are married, okay? But most black women are overweight or obese. Well, you know why? Because you can't afford a gym membership for them. And they would rather eat than be with a broke man. They would rather sit down and prepare a meal for their kids and their family and eat and get fat because y'all aren't worth being skinny for. What we gonna be looking good and snatched for to go get some coffee? Oh, I got to go to the gym. I might get invited out for some coffee tomorrow. Let me go get my let me go get my brows waxed so I can get this coffee. Ooh, girl, I gotta go. I can't. Uh, uh I'm fasting, girl. I gotta. I'm I'm going to Applebee's tomorrow. What do we have to be skinny for? Y'all ain't taking us nowhere where we gotta fit into something that look extra good. Y'all ain't taking us to no fundraiser. We ain't going to no gal. Y'all ain't getting no private jets to jet us off. Y'all ain't surprising us with plane tickets nowhere where we gotta be snatched. Y'all trying to take us to Applebee's into your mama house. How do you know if you're get, if you're the ugly friend? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you know if you're the ugly friend? Ask a child that don't know you. Take a picture of you and your friend. Hold it up to some child. Who's prettier? Who's ugly in this picture? Okay. I've been with him four years and we still ain't moved out or have a ring. And currently he has no job. Then you a prisoner. You've been kidnapped by a broke man. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why you're still there. How do you get out of a situation? You're not... If it's a situation, then you're not in anything. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to ask how to get out. It's not even a relationship. So you don't have anything. You can just ghost. Fours and fives want to be treated like dimes. And, and broke men want to be treated like hangs. Guess we at a standstill. Bye. <laughs> and broke men want to be treated like hangs. <laughs> Okay, but see, a four and a five can still be spoiled and get treated like a queen and get their money right here in America. <laughs> we ain't got to go nowhere. We, we still gonna get it, okay? Okay, you said you will knock me out? 
You must be super dusty with nothing to lose. <laughs> this is how them dusties talk. They don't mind spending the weekend and the summer in, in jail. Free food, right? Free food and shelter until tax season. You can get out for finding a pig Misha, right? <laughs> The glasses make me look dusty, Ike. Okay. Well, I know you are the expert on dusty. So I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I was the expert in the house. Lazy gold diggers. Thank you. That is a compliment. Like, who wants to be a hard worker that doesn't get any money from their band? Like, who want to be that? Call me a lazy gold digger any day. You ain't going to call me broke. Whenever they say they don't want commitment, say, good, I don't either. Reverse psychology, okay? A man always wants what he can't have. Don't ever even, your form of commitment means sex. Sex is a commitment. So when you when he says, oh, I don't want to commit. I'm so glad you said that because I totally agree. I don't think we need any type of commitment, you know, not even a physical commitment. There you go. Commitment to you means something totally different than it means to him. So y'all need to figure out what commitment means to each other. I would I would recommend pretending like commitment means sex to you. And I, I bet you he going to commit real quick because y'all have two totally different Separate definitions of it. How do you ask men for money without feeling that like this? Do you want to make me happy right now? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I want to make you happy too. But later on. Well, what do you want? No, I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you yet. Come on, what is it? Then whisper in his ear like this. I want you to take me to the ATM. And give me as much money as you choose. It's kind of a kink. I just want to see what you're going to give. <laughs> it's going to be Okay, let's go. Then you're going to say, no, never mind. You're going to tease them a little bit. You're going to say, never mind. How about the next time we see each other, you just bring it to me? There you go. It's a challenge. Did he already know he's going to seduce him because you just whispered in his ear? And you know what that do. <laughs> so you got to break out of shyness. You got to break out of shyness. We, we, that's another thing that we have brainwashed. We think it's us when a guy does not choose us. But men that are attractive don't think that about women who don't choose them. Uh, an attractive man does not go around thinking, why are women so picky? Why don't they choose me? They don't do that. Why? Because they're not programmed to. Um, so that's how you need to think. I don't think anything is wrong with me if someone doesn't choose me. They can't afford me. Obviously, if you go to the store, do you choose stuff you can't afford? Probably not. Okay. The people that are at the saleswomen that are sitting at the, um, the counter they don't get upset with you because you didn't buy nothing from them. They obviously, what well, she obviously can't afford, you know, or he can't afford. So they don't get upset about that. They I'm not worried about no sex, baby. Is the money good? You know what I mean? Is that, you know, is, is the money good? Is the money good? That's what I'm asking. I don't care about the sex. So the, the point is stop focusing on that, which is not important. And focus on the money. 